Hey guys, my name is Chaotic and welcome back to another Grand Theft Auto 5 livestream here on my channel. So literally just about 10 minutes ago or so, Rockstar released the new Howard NX25 stunt plane into GTA Online. I have just bought mine, I'm just waiting for it now to be delivered. But yes, you guys can now purchase it on the Xbox One, the PlayStation 4 and of course the PC from the Elitist Travel websites. So if we go to that right now, you can see it's now available to purchase. Uh, the actual buy it now price is just under $1.3 million. The trade price is just under a million dollars. You can see it's $975,000. i have already unlocked the trade price, which is why it's this price for me and not the $1.3 million, which it may cost most of you guys. Um, so I'm sure you're going to be questioning straight away. $1 million or potentially $1.3 million, is it worth buying? Well, it's a stunt plane, so probably not. But I bought it anyway, we're going to test it out in this live stream, we're going to find out whether it's any good, whether it is worth buying or not, uh, but my prediction being no, I think it's going to be overpriced for what it is, but we'll see. So let's back out then of here. Hopefully now the stunt plane has been delivered. Nope, I haven't received the text message just yet, but it should be here any moment. Um, what do you guys think? Comment in the, uh, the section, or comment in the comment section right now. Do you think the plane is a good buy or not? Let me know. Comment right now. Yes or no, that's all I want to know. I can see a few people saying in the chat already, don't buy it, it's a waste of money. Um, I think, yeah, 1.3 million is a lot for a stunt plane, especially when you can buy the Mallard, and I think that's about 250,000, right? Let's just go down there right now and just take a look. The Mallard, 250,000, yeah. And that's uh, one of the best uh, planes in the game for stunting. Um, you know what, I might go and buy one of those right now if I haven't already. Um, yeah, there we go. So we can do a little comparison in this live stream. I think, though, it has. Yes, my Howard has been delivered. Um, I don't... S oh, there it is. It's It's been put in my hangar as well. So, yeah, there is the Howard. Um, similar sort of size, I guess, to the, the Mallard. Maybe slightly longer. Um, but, yeah, that, that's it, pretty much. So let's get into it now. We'll go outside and just fly it about for a bit. Uh, then we'll come back inside and we'll check out some of the customizations. Um, I can see most of you guys right now in the comment section believing or commenting um, that it's not worth buying. Um, the price itself, I'd imagine, is just the main reason. It's it's a lot of money uh, and it's just a stunt plane. Um, right, just check. We don't have any weapons. We have a radio, though. It's, that's great. Um, we don't have any bombs we can drop. No, it's it's just a stunt plane. Okay. It, it does feel very agile. I'll give it that um, straight away. Like This thing wants to just like flip and turn, but... It's not particularly fast, I don't think. I guess it's not that, uh, that much faster than the Mallard, at least. But again, the stunt plane, the Mallard, isn't particularly quick either. Most of you guys saying that it's trash. <laughs> Someone wants to know where the Cyclone is. Uh, the Cyclone could come out next week. Um, I'm not really too sure what's even lined up next, to be honest. We'll take a look later on, maybe. Right, let's fly back right now to our hangar, because uh, if I'm honest, I'm not really too impressed by this plane. Um, straight away, let's get the wheels down. Landed on the runway. There we go. Uh, Mike Spam got asked, is the Hunter out? No, the Hunter's not out. It's going to be a while yet. We've got the Howard NX25 today, unfortunately. Uh, it had to come eventually, so let's get it over and done with, I guess. Come on, oh my god, the uh, turning circle on this thing whilst just uh, driving around is terrible. He does want to drive pretty quickly, though, in fairness. That rear wheel's not touching the ground. There we go. Right, we're going to drive in there now and just take a look at some of the customizations. Oh my god. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> this thing's going to blow up. It's going to blow up. We're stuck. We are, we're completely stuck. No. Oh, no. Oh, damn it. <laughs> okay, it's trash. I've come to that conclusion already. Let me quickly call Moors right now and we will ensure that. There we go. Give it a few seconds. MMI. We there we go, $1,000 to ensure that. We'll go back inside now, we'll check out some of the customizations and see if there's anything special for this. I'm pretty sure there's not, though. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hello to Gamer Bros in the chat. He said you're a good YouTuber. Do you remember me? Of course I do, buddy. I remember all my regulars. Alright, let's go inside. There it is. It's back. Alright. Let's go and customize this thing. I've got a feeling there's only going to be livery options for this. There won't be any uh, any weapon options. Modified aircraft, there we go. Armor, countermeasures, engine, handling, livery, respray, and sell. Which I think is what I'm going to be doing very shortly. Because I'm not too impressed with this thing just yet. 
Okay, let's upgrade the armor, 100%. Uh, we'll put some flares in this thing, 100,000. Engine, upgrade that one, 33,500. Handling, we'll put the race one on. It's already pretty good when it comes to handling, but we'll upgrade that to the max. Uh, livery, okay then, we have 11 options in this category, with one of those being none, so just 10 then. Uh, lucky sevens, you can see there's just seven on the wings. Uh, we've got the traditional one, we've got the uh, banded arms, the four squared, which is the 16 on one side, and the is it GNHW on the other wing. Uh, the XXV, or the XXXV, my bad, which is 35 on the one wing. We've got the classic stripe, the Howard, um, we have the racing curve, the racing stripes, the uh, racing starts, which is probably the best one out of them all. So we're going to select that one. And then finally, respray our only other option. Um, I think we'll change the primary to the same sort of blue that we have on there. So let's do that. If we can find it, try and match it up the best we can. Racing blue. It's not quite the color that I wanted. It's like a dark blue, I think. That's pretty close, I think. Just ordinary blue. We'll select that one then. Ordinary blue. And then secondary, we're going to change that one as well. So that's a, the ordinary. Oh, wait, we can change the the color on the, the secondary as well. Oh, okay, we'll go for the, uh, the blue as well on that one. Fantastic. So there we go. That's the uh, customization then of this aircraft. Uh, nothing too special, if I'm honest, guys. Nothing too special. I'm, I'm kind of disappointed that uh, this is even a thing that Rockstar has added into the game. Um, chrome tips on there, chrome wings. Couldn't really customize it all that much. Very disappointing, if I may say so myself. Um, someone said go for total chrome, uh, if possible. I guess you could, but uh, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not really too fussed on the old chrome on this thing. Let's go outside, though, and check out this play now with the customizations. How many of you guys are into stunting with planes? Let me know in the comment section right now. If you are, then this plane will be for you, but if you're not, then it, it's not, basically. It's uh, a complete utter waste of money, just from what I've seen so far, uh, with no real use or purpose. Just, just stunting, I guess. But for $1.3 million, the buy it now price, or just under a million if you've unlocked the trade price like myself, it's so much money. And you can just buy the Mallard, which is uh, decent at stunting as it is. It doesn't really feel that much different with the uh, the upgrades for Monus. Maybe slightly faster. Handling is uh, slightly improved, but it's it was pretty good anyway. Probably not worth upgrading the handling on this one. So yeah, there we go then, guys. That is the uh, the Howard in GTA 5. Uh, we'll do a small comparison now, I think, with uh, the the Mallard, just to show you guys the uh, the real difference between those. Oh my God, the uh, plane is terrible on the ground. Right, we'll drive it straight back inside. Might even sell it. <laughs> and there we go. Take a left. And hold the E button. Um, Two Papa asked if I can show the Warstock. There's nothing new on there. It's just this plane today. Um, so don't get too excited. Alright, there's that. And I think... No, my Mallard hasn't been delivered inside here. So we'll run to the... Uh, the rear here. I should know it's a Warstock vehicle, right? Or a, a Pegasus vehicle, so we'll have to call Pegasus now that they're in. I'll do that right now. And then we'll bring it inside. Run, 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 run. Come on. Uh, Mike Spam God said uh, most planes from this update have horrible brakes. I know, that is something which I've, uh, I've noticed with quite a few of the planes. Um, bring them to a stop is pretty difficult. Uh, right, so we want to call Pegasus, call in the Mallard so we can do a little comparison. Hurry, Hello, hurry, hurry. Mallard, there we go. Please deliver not right next to me. New aircraft is waiting at our nearest airfield. Okay, it's just we down there. Very happy, sir. We'll run there now. Uh, Marcus said, um, when is Fortnite free? I have no idea. You'll have to ask Fortnite. <laughs> what is Fortnite? Is that a game? Um, we've got Young Trap asked, is the plane worth it? Uh, no. No. Just, just from what I've seen so far, unless you like stunts or stunting planes, it really isn't worth buying. But even then, we're going to show right now, this is the Mallard, which is uh, less than a quarter of the price uh, if you haven't unlocked the trade price. This is 250000 whereas that plane, uh, the Howard, is like $1.3 million. Um, this thing right now is the original stunt plane in GTA 5. Alright, so far, 
what we've noticed just, just from flying this, it is slower than the Howard, so the Howard is faster. Um, I guess the Howard is a little bit more agile as well, but that might be just down to the fact that it's faster, it just feels more agile. Um, I guess the Howard is slimmer and uh, more sleek in its design, but it's a huge price difference, and if you're really into stunting, then I'm I'm sure it's worth uh, the expenditure. Maybe one of you guys can tell me that. Oh, my God, we're going to crash. Um, yeah, I'll bring it straight in right now. So I am terrible when it comes to some things. I'm going to try, to be honest, with this plane. Yeah, the Mallard isn't as good either as taking off, whereas the Howard, um, it does have, have that acceleration. Right, so let's hop out of that plane now. There we go. And we'll take this, uh, the Howard, back outside. You know, I'll, I'll try one stunt. I'll try and hit like one stunt with the Howard uh, and, and that'll be like the live stream accomplished <laughs> there we go apparently to unlock the uh, the trade price you have to complete 5,000 missions I believe that's a glitch uh, one which Rockstar for some reason still hasn't fixed um, so don't worry if, if you guys really want to buy this for some reason um, just wait until later today and hopefully Rockstar will have that fixed oh my god there we go that's why I don't do stunts in GTA 5 <laughs> <laughs> oh, because I'm terrible at them. Let me just call up Moors again. Yeah, so basically, a few weeks ago, Rockstar changed the trade prices of the unlocked aircrafts from the current ones to 5,000, so people couldn't find out what they Hello. were. Um, and it seems that Rockstar haven't fixed those yet. I think we can handle that. But that's been insured. Uh, let me just quickly make, register myself as an MC. There we go. I'll call in my oppressor so we can fly back to the... Uh, the hangar and go get my plane again. Um, Crow Ursasty, is that how you say your name? Probably not. Uh, I said open mod menu, please. Uh, I don't actually have a, an online mod menu, um, so, I, so I can't do that. Right, let's hop onto the bike. There we go. We'll fly back there now. We'll only be a few seconds, guys. Marcus asked if I could play Fortnite. I have no idea what that is, buddy, so let me know and uh, I can check that out. I'm guessing it's a game, though. That's why you asked me to play it. Alright, there we go. All right, we'll go straight back inside. Oh my god, I shouldn't be reading the chat right now. I'll run straight back in. Uh, GTA 5 videos asked Do you prefer the Mallard over the new plane? Um, obviously the Howard is better, but it's also a lot more expensive. Uh, potentially five times more expensive to buy it now price. Five times more expensive. Is it five times better? No. <laughs> Alright then guys, I'm going to show you a really cool trick now with the, uh, with the Howard. This is one trick that I do know, um, that you can do with the plane, apart from obviously stunting. It's pretty simple and straightforward. Um, so you open up the... Uh, modified aircraft section. You gotta sell and you sell it. There we go. Neat trick. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so basically to summarize guys, uh, the Howard is a complete waste of money unless you love stunting. Uh, even then, it's overpriced for what you're paying. Uh, don't buy it. I'm not gonna make a video later on saying don't buy this because I think it's pretty obvious at this point. Um, but it's absolute trash. So yeah, that, that, that's it for this video then, guys. Hopefully uh, you've gotten the point. There's a new plane out. It's rubbish, uh, unless you like stunting, but even then, it's not that good. It's, it's okay, I guess, speed-wise, handling-wise. Um, but for $1.3 million, save your money. And uh, yeah, just wait for the uh, the Batmobile, or the, uh, the Vigilante, to come out in a few weeks' time. So with that being said, guys, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys now at some point with my next video or live stream. Thanks guys for watching. Peace.